Hi, I'm Barry Saunders, and you're going to be viewing my 2005 Georgie Boy Motorhome. It's a Cruise Master LE, 36 and a half feet long. I bought the motorhome about uh, 2013 or so, and I've been up and down the coast probably half a dozen times with it, somewhere in that ballpark anyway. Uh, I put the I put about 20,000 miles on it. I've done some research on it relevant to the what it's valued at. I've got over 70 grand tied up in it, just for the record. And you never get what you paid for it, of course. Um, but I'm willing, and I'm going to take quite a bit of a loss on money. But I do want to say, I put a lot of things in this, including a wine guard antenna, an over-the-air antenna. Uh, everything's push-button. Electronics are all updated. Um, really, really nice, set, nice setup. And for a gas-powered motorhome, it's a power horse. It's on a workhorse chassis. It makes it kind of... Uh, on end with a um, with a diesel. Uh, if you you know if you're thinking a big diesel pusher, you're thinking about the gas economy and whatnot. I mean that's my, something that you wanna you know you wanna take into consideration. You might want to take a serious look at this motorhome. Uh, one of the other things that's really a compliment of the motorhome itself, and I'll probably mention it through the film, is its oak interior. And you don't have that flimsy ass fiberboard stuff that you see in a lot of these. Um, which I think brings the value of it up quite considerably. Uh, the, the flat screen TV sets in it, all the, old, all the old CRTs were taken out, the two of them, and added, added a little bit more space. Anyway, uh, I won't bore you to death with a lot of this. Um, I'm looking at it. I might be a little bit negotiable. Ask me. Okay, make a phone call. 717-629-3410 is my cell phone. 717-629-3410. Um, I have a bottom line on it, and it's not too far off what I'm asking, but yeah, I might work with you a little bit. I also have a Mini Cooper um, sidewalk that I'm selling along with the tow dolly. You'll see it in one of the pictures here. It's an adorable little car. It gets looks no matter where you go, and it's actually a kind of a collector's item. Um, and I'm not looking for a lot of money for it either, if it goes with the motorhome. Um, anyway, uh, give me a call. We can talk and we'll move forward from there. Hey, thanks a lot and I appreciate you checking out the video. Here we go. Okay, this is my 2005 Georgie Boy Cruise Master uh, LE. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty big, almost too big for the frame on my cell phone here, which is where we're doing this video. Um, anyway, I purchased it in 2013. Uh, I've put about, as I said earlier, uh, I put about uh, 20,000 miles or so on it. It's in very nice condition. It's been very well maintained. I like to take care of my stuff, but it has two ACs on the top of it. Uh, it's also got a satellite, just a wine guard that I installed. It was a couple of thousand dollars along with that's it for direct TV or dish network or you could use that also uh, on a, the Canadian there's a Canadian satellite you could do that with too uh, I think you have to change the bowl on it it's not a big deal that's not up right now but there are pictures of it that are posted along with the ad um, and you can look at it at Weingard W-I-N-E-G-A-R-D at any rate uh, the awnings in nice shape you can see the slide out has an awning that comes out over it uh, there's three of them. I, re I replaced them when I bought this in 2013, so the vinyl and stuff on it is good. It's not brittle. It was brittle when I bought it from a dealership and paid a lot more money <laughs> for it, which happens, I guess, sometimes, but you got to know what you're buying, so I'm trying to keep this as, uh, as uh, informative as possible. As you can see, there's a lot of storage. Each one of these lugs in the bottom opens up into a basement area beneath the, uh, beneath the motorhome. And uh, we'll look at this little one in the front here real quick. If it's open, here it is. And you can see going inside of there, and they're, they're all like that, with the exception on the driver's side rear, which is the big generator, which I'll open here in a minute. Um, you can see with the, the uh, uh, refrigerator and the uh, this stove, the refrigerator and the, is uh, uh, gas or electric. You can use that. But a lot of stuff here has been replaced. The only is in really nice shape. Got a couple little dinghies here and there, but nothing that 
when taking just a little bit of elbow grease or a couple of a couple of dollars worth of touch-up paint here and there. Coming out to the to the yard area, unfortunately today <laughs> we had rain last night, and you're going to get it because I got a little runoff under the windshield that I didn't have time to I didn't have time to clean to get this video in because I had forgotten that I'd taken it the other day and forgot to push the button. Uh, <laughs> You can see the other slide out coming out. And the two slide outs. It's got a big front slide out. A little unusual on a gas powered motorhome like this one to have this many slide outs. The reason you do is because it's on a big workhorse chassis. Chassis which makes it all makes it run kind of like a diesel. The tires on it are really in good a really, really nice shape. There's no rot, nothing on it that I know of at all from a mechanical standpoint. Up on the roof there you can see the, the satellite dish laying down. It's plugged in right now. Well actually it's not plugged in right now. I'm gonna have to stop the video for a brief moment and restart it because it's uh, I have it plugged in. I usually keep it plugged into the garage. It's only 50, a 15 amp service plugged into the garage but with my extensions there which you'll own if you buy this um, the uh, with the extensions you can do either 15, 30, or 50 amp. If you're going to run both air conditioners simultaneously, it either needs to be 50 amp or on the generator in the back of the bus, which is right there at the back. Uh, the generator, when I bought the when I bought the unit, uh, I had to have the generator going over thoroughly uh, through a, a place up in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, that does these things. It cost me a little over a grand. The receipts and everything are there. And I have all of the paperwork, everything that came with this bus, I believe from the time it was new, plus things that I've installed, owner's manuals and books and everything, I have everything that will go with this motorhome, including, of course, a clear title. Uh, bike rack stays on it. What you see is kind of what you get. Um, and nice unit. I'm going to stop for a moment here and pause it, and then we're going to pop inside here. Of course, the electric steps have always been really helpful. Okay, we walked into the motor home here. Of course, you can see the, the steps. There's storage everywhere here. The storage under the steps. You can see the. This isn't the. This is the new TV sets that we put in. I think a 32 inch. Uh, flat screen Vizios uh, storage everywhere, including a lot of storage behind where the old CRT used to go. The tube, you know, the big old tube TV set that weighed about 75 pounds, and you always worry about falling on you. And <laughs> this one you don't have to worry about because it's light as a feather. Uh, it's connected to, of course, the direct TV. You'll see speakers on the ceiling, okay, for your surround sound, and there's boxes here for your for this and in a moment I'll open up the TV set and show you there's an extra orb for the surround sound system all this stuff is burnt within a year old I only purchased it about a year ago all the seating and stuff is really in really nice shape the couch opens up into a bed it's original uh, we've never really used it much it was just a uh, my girl myself Joanne and myself you can see to the back we have a, of course, the microwave, and there's also a convection oven, which is really, really nice. Okay, uh, it gets uh, a lot of all the stuff that comes with it in the book. Everything that came with this thing from being new is with it. And what I really liked is this is this oak that you're dealing with the oak cabinetry. You don't get that or the brass handlings and stuff. You just don't get that. Uh, you got you got your roof vent and your fan and whatnot, your nice mirror. All your mood lights. Everything here is working. Oh, I have one bulb. Might want to replace, but that's no biggie. Um, looking up and into the compartment. Um, We'll turn your TV set on here for a second, see if it pops on for us. It may. See, it does perfectly. And 
I'm going to pause for a minute and show you how this thing is set up. It's really cool. If you're sitting on your sofa or one of your lounge chairs and want to watch TV and want to bring it out, you can bring this TV set out almost three feet. That's pretty neat. Uh, when I put it in, I only, when I put it in, I put it in with the, with the big articulating, articulating, uh, arm which is really nice okay it really was expensive it was more expensive than the tv this is the same way in the bedroom too with the same amount of space i probably won't pull that one out there i put it i placed it back inside you'll see there's a a cross member of on the base this was all custom done so that you don't have the TV coming out, it's nice and secure. You got some nice, nice storage behind it, plus some hidden storage. If you really want some hidden storage, up in front of that, there's a panel that removes on the back and inside the cabinet where you can actually hide things if you'd like money, if you're camping or something like that, and people just wouldn't look there. And let's walk over to the, the ACDC refrigerator. It's a domatic, and we have all the paperwork for it. The um, Nice, nice, real nice condition. Works real well, AC or DC. Uh, it has an ice maker. I've never used the ice maker ever, <laughs> because only because I I'm never drink water out of the system. I'm brushing my teeth and showers and stuff like that, but I just never drink the water. Uh, that's a prerogative decision. It's a clean tank. Everything in this has been really well maintained and taken care of. Uh, that's a prerogatory thing. There's a valve outside you can turn to turn the ice maker on. And that, of course, is either electric or uh, uh, propane. I'm going to walk in toward the bedroom here, but I want to hit the bathroom first because the bathroom is really, really nice. It's got a lot of storage beneath it. Again, it's all, all nice, solid oak finishing. Oh, there's a picture of me <laughs> inside of it. So the closet. The uh, shower is super nice. We just like to hang out towels like a hotel room here. I just put that out to make this video. I don't know if it was necessary. Probably not. A little silly. But anyway, uh, the shower is nice. Nice and big. And it's got your, your moonlight, your lighting area up here at the top. What nice sunlight coming in. And this actually, I want to show somebody, everybody this. This is a... Uh, really nice feature this cuts your it's a doorway to the rear it makes a separate area so you can have a completely separate living space there in the back if you want because you have everything out here in the front in in this area plus you have everything in the back also going over some of the some of the basic amenities um, of course the electric steps there's a there's a going back here to the front there's a Bigfoot self-leveling system uh, on this unit. Of course, it's a workhorse. Okay. Um, it's also got a new Voyager color backup camera that I had that I installed. It was over $600, and when I was done with it, to have it installed. Uh, you have heated mirrors in the outside. Have a little bit of paint. You can see it chipping off that one thing in the mirror. It's just some enamel. I just haven't gotten around to clarifying it. That and some stainless steel screws and things, which if I were going to keep an able to, I'd do that. That's, you're talking, you know, $100 worth of little things, little tiny things, new wipers, new wiper blade setup, um, new inspection in Pennsylvania. It's inspected till February of 2020. We're going to go back and open up my door back here. Oh, your dual thermal. That controls your AC in the front. Okay, right here in the front of this. You can hear it kicking in. You can hear the noise there. I'm going to turn it off because we don't want that on today. It's nice out. Um, turn some of these lights down. Don't need them. We're plugged into the house right now, so it's no big deal. The generator will run everything off-road on this unit, everything at the same time, including the microwave. Uh, it'll run it all. I was going to show you the bathroom, which is next. The, the, the bathroom has its fan at the top, a window, and of course your, your toilet. 
a flusher thing with a hose, with a little hose mount thing on it. New floor, new floor vent covers. Um, the carpet's in pretty decent shape for the year of the motorhome. It's not all marked up and scarred or anything. Uh, it's been recently cleaned pretty thoroughly. It looks good. In the sink we have, it's a double sink, okay, on both sides, and of course the stove. There's some notes, my notes over here, but I'm not a professional at this, so hey, three burner. Uh, I do know how much I, how much tender loving care I've put into the motorhome, though. Oh, and in the, in the bathroom here, we also have closet space. This closet space goes through. People ask me about washers and dryers. I've been inclined. I did some, some homework on this, and I believe you could put a small stackable inside of this if you decided to remove this closet area and do that. That's what people do with these. I've seen them done. Um, I just, every place we stay at the resorts and places has, always has them. And then it goes through here. Huh. We can push that through there, look, back into the bathroom. Ta-da! So that's kind of cool. Yeah. People through. Big closet spaces here for hanging stuff up. Lots of wardrobe. Big, big wardrobe in there. The chairs that you can see sitting over there, there's actually four of them. Underneath this really nice queen size bed, okay, you're going to have uh, a lot of storage. Um, I might try and lift that up and get a picture of it for you before I end this video. Back in the corner, you have built-in AM FM radio. Uh, it's a stereo type system. It's really nice with an alarm over the over the bunk storage, or rather over the bed storage. Of course, another TV. This TV is also on an articulating arm. Uh, this bedroom is always a sweet spot because not too many motorhomes have a bedroom the size of this one. It's a complete walk around which you just don't see most places that you'll go. You can see into the into the cabin here. Um, your uh, carbon monoxide detector, separate AC, separate AC unit for the AC over my head. More closet space, closet space everywhere here. And beneath, you can carry a big part of your house. You, we considered actually full-time camping in this RV, and you could do that with this RV, um, hands down, not a problem, uh, because you have plenty of storage. You know, if you're, you know, if you're into that type of thing, if that's what you want to do, this is the RV to do it with. Um, I'm going to pause just for a second. We'll open the bed. This is what it looks like with the bed up. It's. You can pretty much do this with one hand. It's just hard to do when you're holding a phone, a cell phone. Down on the base, you see the other chairs that are folded in beneath. A lot of storage. If you ever had a problem electrically and needed to do a slide out, there's the equipment that you need to use to do the slide out uh, uh, by hand if you needed to. So you're never going to be in a situation where if something happened uh, where you can't bring your slides in and out by by hand if you needed to um, and I have most I think all the documentation or all that is which is available on the internet um, is with this motorhome so you have all of that there you go we just I just put that down for you with the with my one hand and the uh, just put the TV on in the back so you can see it fires right up. Anyway, and it comes out a lot of stories behind that too. So, anyway, I think that's about all I have for y'all. Um, I'm going to um, head on outside. Just wanted to mention a few of these other basic things. Oh, the main thing, the main thing I liked, of course, was the interior, was the fact that it was oak. It's not that flimsy fiberboard you see in a lot of these. The WineGuard DirecTV satellite system, which is automatic and can be switched for dish or Canadian station. WineGuard Razor, okay, over the air antenna, okay, which is, uh, well, switched on the dash, actually, 
I was able to do that with the with the box up in the corner that powers the the antenna. You should look that up. There's pictures of that on the ad listing. Uh, the Voyager rear color camera, which we mentioned a little bit ago. Uh, the refurbished generator has about a hundred hours on it since I since I did this. And let me show you the meter really quick. Okay. Uh, Okay, let me where's the meter at? Okay, well, this is the how this whole thing works, and this is your your meter for the whole side for the side there. I have to turn the switch the batteries on. You have to have the batteries turned on. Things start right up. Anyway, the um, um, anyway, I wanted to get back to this really quick. I just wanted to turn the bat the the. Uh, but there's a house switch you can turn the whole building on when you're not using the inside thing. This shows your lights. This is your starter for your generator. I just heard it start up. Okay. And the generator is boasting 300 and the 11, 317.8 hours. I believe that's what that says. Okay. 311, 317.8 hours. Okay, and uh, there's no water or anything in the system right now because I have it all winterized. It starts up real nice. Uh, never really had any problems since I had it repaired uh, with that. I had it refurbed and uh, had the receipts for it. Anyway, that's all I got. Fans above, fans above that. You might want to know about that. The side, light, the, the slide out awnings were replaced. Uh, it, uh, the Bigfoot self leveling system. I think you really appreciate the refrigerator, freezer, ice maker, ACs or propane, uh, microwave, conventional oven, New Pennsylvania inspection, bike rack in the back. I have a brand new set of. Uh, you can see me in this picture, but I have a brand new set of um, white wheel custom, custom white wheel covers for the back of it. We bought them for in Florida, but they're brand new. They, I have new ones I just got that were just not even out of the box uh, that are in the basement of, on the driver's side. And uh, tons, and tons, and tons, and tons, and tons of uh, onboard, offboard storage. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope I didn't bore you to death too much. I'm not a professional at this by any shade of the imagination. Uh, I'm selling it because of health reasons, and I, I'm just <clears throat> I'm unable to maintain. Um, I'm also selling if you if you have any inf any interest. I have a Mini Cooper Sidewalk. Okay, that's for sale, and uh, the Mini Cooper Sidewalk is a convertible, and it's ex extremely nice. Okay, so. Uh, that and the toe, that and the toe thing, and to the right person, I might put together a heck of a deal. Okay, for the right for the right person and the right deal on this thing, if you if you call me, and I can be reached, of course, at seven one seven six two nine three four one zero. Again, it's seven one seven six two nine three four one zero. And I'm Barry Saunders. I really seriously appreciate your time. Thanks a lot for looking, and have a wonderful day.